Okay, we are back with another video in our Learn to Code series. Of course, we are doing another Carol video. So today we need to program Carol to paint the exterior of some rectangles. So pretty much what happens is in the world, we basically have these three rectangles, but with no beepers here. So let me just show you what it looks like. I don't know why they didn't um, give us that um, but yeah so basically this is what it looks like at the beginning so this is where carol is we have the three rectangles and then what it says is carol will always start facing west at the upper right corner of the leftmost building so carol is at the upper right corner of the leftmost building so this is where carol is and it says carol starts facing west which is to the left here so that is good to know it says Carol has infinite beepers. It says the buildings may be of varying sizes, but they're always three and their relative position will always be the same. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the world, right? So one thing that they recommended is breaking down the problem into the following steps. It says first Carol should paint one side of the rectangle, placing beepers on all corners that are adjacent to the wall of the building. Um, the boundary detail is that the last square where Carol ends should not have a beeper on it. Okay, so how do we know whether we're adjacent to the wall? Which side of Carol is the wall on? Is it in the front? No. Is it in the right? No. Is it behind? No. It is to the left. So do we have a function that tells us if there's a wall to the left of us? Let's look at our reference guide, which will, of course, be in the description box. Oh, and by the way, these are new worlds that we are using in this assignment. So please reference the code that is in the description box as well if you're doing this yourself. Okay, so we have front is clear, beepers present, beepers in bag, left is clear. Okay, so we have left is clear and we have left is blocked. So which one of these will tell us if there's a wall next to us? There's a wall next to us if left is blocked. So what they recommended us to do is to paint a side. So I'm just gonna write a function paint side, and then we have a def paint side. And then we said there's a wall next to us if our left is blocked, and we don't know how big it is. So one note is when you don't know the size, generally a while loop is gonna be better. Four loops are usually better when you have a fixed size, but we have no idea how big these rectangles are. So we're just gonna do while left is blocked and we need to put down a beeper and then we need to move to the next space because otherwise we'll just end up putting down a beeper again and again in the same space and that is obviously not what we want to do. So let me stop this and let's run and let's just see if we can successfully paint one side. And we can, cool. So now what do they tell us? They said, next Carol should accomplish the task of painting a single rectangle. Um, think about how you can use the functionality of the previous subtask to help you accomplish this goal. You may need to write a small amount of code to reposition Carol in between painting individual walls. Okay, so let's say now in our main function, we're gonna paint a full rectangle instead of painting a side. So of course we need a function for that. Um, okay, so we have to paint a side, right? And then we need to do something to move to the next. And they told us to paint three sides, so that means I need to do this a second time. And then I would need to move to next again. And then I need to paint a side a third time. So how do I move to the next? Let's look at our picture. So I think if I turn left, Carol will be here. So let's just turn left and let's see if that works. So here we have turn left and okay, let's try. Oh crap. Okay, we made this mistake before. When we turn left, we're still in the same space. We need to not only turn left, but we also need to move so that we're next to this wall, right? Because right now we're not next to this wall. So that didn't work, but we can fix that easily. All we need to do is add a move right here. 
and that should solve that problem. So let's run yet again, and let's go a little bit faster, because why not? And this looks good. Okay, cool. So we painted a full rectangle because they told us to only do three sides. I don't know why, but they only told us to do three. So what is step three? Finally, the overall triple carol problem is just painting all three buildings. Okay, so same type of thing. We paint a rectangle, we move to the next rectangle, and then we paint a rectangle, and then we move to next again, and then we paint a rectangle because we have three rectangles. Now, how do we move to the next? Carol is here. Now here, Carol is already next to the wall, so that actually makes our lives a little bit easier, but our paint wall function is looking for left is blocked. So in order for our paint side function to work, we need the wall to be to the left of Carol. Right now, the wall is in front of Carol, so if you're facing front and you need something to be to the left, you probably need to turn right. So I think our move to next in this case is going to be a turn right. Um, and of course we would need to turn right again, but Carol doesn't know how to turn right. So we have to write this function as we have done many times before. We're gonna turn left three times until we have finished our right turn. And I don't see any syntax errors, so let's see if this works. Although I do have some warnings here. Um, I'll worry about that later, but for now, let's just make sure our code is working. So let's go faster. Oh, why did it stop? Oh, see, <laughs> I didn't have my parentheses after my paint rectangle, so it wasn't running. So that was actually one of the warnings that we had. So that's actually a good lesson. We probably should actually pay attention to these warnings. So let's see what warnings are giving us. They're saying duplicated code fragment at line 25, which is this. I don't know what duplicated code fragment they're talking about, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, they're telling us they're expecting two blank lines in between each function. Like if I hover here, it's saying function name should be lowercase. Okay, so it's saying I should have, actually, no, wait, we're gonna do this because notice if I just change the name here, like if I just do this and make it lowercase, then what's gonna end up happening is now this doesn't match. So instead of doing that, we're gonna utilize a cool new feature well, not a new feature, but a cool feature called refactor. So I can go to refactor. I just did a right click and refactor. Then I'm going to click rename. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it to be the lowercase like functions. And I'm going to click refactor. And it's saying function, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes, do refactor. So then notice it already renamed these for me, which made my life a lot easier. So we're going to do the same thing for the paint side because I can see the same error, or can I? Um, why isn't it giving me? Okay, yeah, here, it's telling me two blank lines. It's expecting two blank lines. I'll add another blank line. And after I do that, it's telling me my function name should be lowercase. So same thing, right click, refactor, rename. And we are changing this to the lowercase and refactor. So here it was just asking me if I want to change like code references, which I do um, telling me how many code references. So I've done that. So now I still have two warnings. Um, I think this is looking for another blank line. And what other warnings do I have? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay. It's still telling me at line 25, it's expecting another blank line. Okay, so that's here. Okay, cool. So now there's no more problems. So that's good to know. Okay, cool. So now let's try to run this again. And let's run our program. And cool, this is working. So there are some other worlds here. I see triple one, triple two, and triple three. So let's try running all of those just to make sure that our code is flexible enough. So we're running triple one, run program, go fast. 
and this looks correct yes let's close that triple two run go fast well we're going like medium speed i guess it's kind of cool to watch carol just like doing this okay this looks good and the last one is triple three fast cool so as we saw we were able to successfully paint all three sides of these rectangles in varying different worlds which is really really good so please stay tuned for the future videos in the learn to code series i definitely have some more videos coming up for you guys they will not be carol videos um at least not as of now um but in the meantime don't forget to like subscribe and share with all your friends and don't forget to comment down below if you have any suggestions on learning to code videos or any other videos and i'll see you next time bye